What? I'm going to show you three different ways that you can beat the primitive weekly challenge. So we're going to start with the basic way here first. And that's going to be the slow path. See, we have a five minute timer to find the ghost room. So I recommend starting with the UV, thermo, and the book. Those are really the only three evidence items that we have. The UV is going to serve as the flashlight, essentially the light source, because the breaker is broken in this challenge. So essentially what you want to do when you walk in is just start listening to uh, for interactions, basically. Do you hear any interactions? If you feel kind of comfortable, like we can also you know, let the uh, thermometer raise up a little bit because as we go room to room if we're not hearing anything we can look for that immediate drop in temperature as well so again we have that five minute grace period if you want to take maximum advantage of it and you can just go around and go room to room with the thermometer we don't see it drop probably not going to be in the garage if you can't see take out your glow stick let's try this bathroom okay well it's going going down here in the hallway which leads me to think that it's probably going to be here, right? Is if we go in here, it goes back up, come out here, it's going back down. This is what I mean by it takes time for the ghost room to kind of cool down. And then as we see, we go up here. So we found it fast, just like that. And now what we want to do is make sure these doors are closed because UV is one of the evidence we can get, but we can also force UV because we also have salt. And since we're thinking that this is the ghost room, it's not doing anything. So it's kind of interesting. Is it possibly moving? What happens if we go out here? It's going back up. If we go into the living room, it's going back up. If we come back here, it's going back down. Oh god, there it is. I found it. We found it, y'all. We found it. We found it. Okay. God. Scared. Scared me. Okay. Uh, Ghost is like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm showing you that I'm here. I'm showing you that I'm here. Uh, okay. So let's... So we don't have EMF, but we can get EMF from the activity chart. But based on the fact that it was a ghost event, this is not EMF 5. Uh, what you want to look for is do we see a four or a five spike without a ghost event or a hunt right now because the ghost event just happened not good there so uh, i recommend coming back in we can place the book we can grab a thing of salt to check for uv and, and we can grab another glow stick why not we can also grab a crucifix to prevent to prevent hunts so we're not going to be able to find things like ghost orbs dots uh spirit box those we're not going to be able to find but let's see did you write in the book no all right uh so what we can do is set some of our salt down okay uh we heard its step and not go anywhere so we can place some more salt just to be safe if we wanted to but it looks like definitely looks like we're not going to have uv definitely looks like we're not going to have uv and if you, if you do that you hear the footsteps now sometimes ghosts can step in salt but not actually walk to leave the footsteps so you want to make sure that you're listening to that footstep sound uh, but we know we can go ahead and mark out uv based on that we're waiting for freezing and ghost riding uh, are essentially what we're doing and there's not much we can really wait on that not much more we can do other than than just sort of wait uh it's ghost seems to want to hang around here so we can put our book there um i'll go ahead and set down the ghost the salt i'm shaking our ghost glow stick maybe not ghost but what we can do now is we're essentially, we can wait here in the truck for a little bit, look at the motion sensor. Now I am willing to say that's probably not a shade because it did ghost event so early. The fact it did ghost event early, it could be an Oni or a Thay. Uh, Thay would give us ghost writing, but not necessarily anything else. Cause I think it's dots and orbs. Yeah. So if it wasn't Thay, but these are just things you want to think about if you are kind of good with ghosts. We do know we can rule out a wraith based on the fact that it did step in the salt. Since we don't have UV, 
to test for a ure, kind of want to leave the doors open. So we see a three spike there. Not going to do us any good. Does not matter. Uh, what we probably want to do is go leave you and you uh, and test for an on Rio, right? Yeah, on Rio doesn't have UV. It can have freezing. And I think that's about our best bet. For whatever we're going to do. We still do not have ghost running. It did throw the book. Do we have writing? No. So if a ghost throws a ghost writing book and it, there's no writing in it, the it cannot be ghost writing. Because ghost will always prioritize writing in the book over throwing it. So we'll only throw it if there's if it's already been written in. So we're looking at a Wraith, Oni, well not a Wraith. We've already marked out Wraith. Yurei, Oni, Yokai, Onryo, Twins, or Raiju. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up these doors to test for a Yurei. Uh, it's, you know, sometimes I'll say, like, you know, close the door so you can know which door it was interacted with. But because Yurei is a possibility, we want to kind of leave that high. We'll go ahead and place our... You know, now we could do an Onryo test by having the three candles and seeing if it does it. Uh, this was the door that was touched. We don't have fingerprints. Touched another door. Uh, so far, no freezing. Okay. Again, that door closed all the way because of the ghost event, not a Yure. So, we can't rule out Yure yet. Uh, you're not going to write in the book. So, what we want to do... I'm going to take the glow stick with me because you guys might like to use it as a light source. Normally, I would just drop it down, go get our other stuff. Because kind of at this point, since we know what we have left there, we can grab a couple more candles and then light it, essentially. So, you know, if you're not sure about how to do like an on Rio test or what to look for. There's a good guide cheat sheet that I can leave a link in the description to as well to, to kind of help you narrow down the ghosts. Oh my God. So this ghost is doing a lot of ghost events. Um, Oni is kind of what my thought is. Oni would be EMF five, which we could get on the chart. Um, if we do happen to have EMF five, we would have to decide between... Oni would also have freezing, though. Oni would also have freezing, because it's freezing, EMF5, and dots. So, currently, no freezing. So, we are just in a waiting game with that. I'm going to go get me a matchstick. And... I'll take in another crucifix, just to be safe. So this is the way of, uh, you know, this is the, the, a little bit of a longer way to find the ghost. Like I said, I'll go through a couple other ways to, to do this as well, and you can decide what, what you want to do. This is like the slow, just normal pace. We found the ghost room. We're setting up what we can and just trying to eliminate from there. So two ways to test for an Onryo. So Onryos will blow out. I'm going to set the other crucifix here, so that way if it tries to hunt over there, we should be safe both times. Uh... Let me grab you, light you. We're gonna set this here. If if the ghost blows out all three of these candles and then uses the crucifix, highly possible it's probably gonna be an Onrio. And we can double check what our sanity is because Onrios can hunt at any sanity if it blows out three light sources. I did just throw that book again. We're getting closer and closer to freezing. I'm kind of leaning towards Oni because Onis do more ghost events like that. Uh, have a higher threshold doing a ghost event. Okay, so it blew out all three. Not using the crucifix. So that leads me to think not going to be an Onryo. Not going to be an Onryo. And then from time to time, we can go back and check. Probably not going to be an Oni now, interestingly enough. We didn't actually see the mist ball from my playing time. I tell you it, it just did the airball ghost event so probably not going to be an oni interesting i guess not uh we are gonna leave these doors open 
Ideally, though, if you're not sure, you do want to wait to see if you actually see the missed ball coming towards you. Uh, I'm taking a risk saying that it's not. Uh, we may not have freezing either. We may not have freezing. Which... It's kind of hard to, to want to say that we can rule out freezing just because it can take a while to get. But let's just say, you know, we've been in there a bit. It's kind of hovering the same thing. If we say it's not freezing and we say it's not EMF 5, the only thing it can be is a yokai. We can't figure out a yokai with the evidence. So if we're not seeing anything on the chart and we're not getting freezing, that's the only thing that the that the ghost could be and a three spike on the chart we got a two spike not really thinking that that's going to be it we got another two all the times we've been in the truck and it's not been emf5 kind of leads me to think it's not going to be emf5 it's up to you if you want to you know play it safe i always say you always want to double check but you know with this Again, it's not hugely important. We don't have an EMF reader to be able to verify. We can go back in and check, but we're at the point now. We're probably going to want to try to get hunted. Uh, the way to test for a yokai. Now, we could talk a lot around it. Um, let's see. Let's actually see if we can get it to trigger the hunt. Because yokais will hunt at 80% or less if you talk near it. So... We can try to talk a lot around it, see what it does. Did we get... No, still no freezing. Still no freezing. Let's see if we can... Uh, stupid yokai, are you here? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What is your name? Uh, Shelly. Shelly Marsh. Shelly Marsh. You gonna do, are you going to do something, Shelly? You going to do anything? Are you still here? Can you show me that you're here? I don't believe you're here anymore. I don't believe you're here anymore. You're throwing this book a bit. You're throwing this book kind of far. But how do I know that you're actually here and didn't move, huh? How do I know that? How can I be safe? How can I be rest assured, Miss Shelley, that you're actually going to do anything? Oh, which door did you touch? Did I finally anger you enough to want to touch a door? Did you finally touch in a door? Is it this one? Is it this door? Am I right in front of you, Shelley? Is that you here? Is that you here, Shelly? Shelly Marsh? That's right, Shelly. We're talking mad junk about you because I don't know if you're a yokai, if you're going to hunt us, if you're not going to hunt us. And quite frankly, I'm not that scared of you, Shelly. That's right. I'm not that scared of you. I'm not that scared of you at all. You think throwing that little cup is going to scare me, Shelly? I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that, Shelly. I'm not too scared of that cup. Not too scared of that cup at all. Not too scared of you. Not too scared of nothing. Oh, what's, what'd you throw this time? I can't even see what you throw. Oh, that was a dumb move. Dumb move. See, I, I, I'm just going to keep holding my push to talk thing here on. It's, is it a yokai? Maybe. Um, it's kind of hard to trigger the ability. Uh, but it kind of leads me to think it's not going to be it. Maybe... Maybe it'll be, uh, but I don't think it's going to be freezing. And if it's not freezing, like, I really think we would have got freezing by now. It would be a yokai or a raiju. We can't really test for a raiju. Actually, I kind of, I kind of want this thing to hunt because we had a question when I was doing this on stream of can the radio, like that walkie talkie radio, whatever you want to call it. Can it actually speed up the raiju? And I actually don't know. My question. Uh, oh, or did you did you move into here now, Yoki? Did you move into here? Or, well, Yoki, Shelly, I guess. Shelly, is that what we're going for? No, we're going for Shelly. Are you in here now? Are you in the garage? No, you're not in the garage. You just reached through the wall. You must be scared. You must be scared, Shelly. That's fine. I'd be scared of me too. I'm an expert ghost hunter. I'll have you know. Which door did you touch? Still that one? Still the same one? You ain't doing nothing, Shelly. You ain't scaring me. I ain't scared of yous. I ain't scared of yous.
Uh, so there we do have the Ouija board. The Ouija board is here every single game. I think our best bet on what to do is going to be like, come on down here. And we'll close the door and then I'll see if it's going to hunt us or find us. Because that's going to be our only way to kind of determine what this ghost is going to be. So. I'm going to go close this door so it's less likely to come over here. And we're going to find out. And I'm just going to activate my radio and see if we can hear it speed up and see if it's going to come in here towards us. Hide and seek. Let's see how this goes. I think it's a yokai. Definitely didn't speed up, so now I'm kind of curious. Let's see. I'm going to go yokai. I'm curious if that was a raiju or not, because a raiju should have sped up around electronics and that's the only electronic that we would have in the primitive challenge but we never saw emf5 either which leads me to think it's just going to be a yokai and it was There's some jobs ready for you. the second way we're gonna try to not necessarily get hunted right away but it's gonna put us at risk of getting hunted right away and it's gonna help us narrow down ghosts by quite a bit so it's we're not gonna just trigger a cursed hunt but what we are going to do is get the ouija board and have it kind of tell us like you know where where the ghost is so have us find out where the ghost is now i like that hiding spot beside the fridge so i'm going to grab that because this will put us at 50 percent sanity so if the ghost does hunt us pretty fast we can kind of rule out a shade uh the going to be pretty easy to know but i did start with a smudge stick our igniter and then a glow stick just for some Thing. But we're going to find out where the ghost is, and then that's going to help us set up stuff as well. Where are you? Looks like it's in the bathroom. Goodbye. Bathroom, interesting. So I'm guessing it's this bathroom. Maybe. I don't know what other bathroom it could really be. Uh, I'm just going to set the glow stick right there on the ground. And we'll, we'll kind of find out. Now, the interesting thing with hunts on this, if you don't trigger a cursed hunt, the hunts are only 15 seconds. So it's not, like, uh, extremely crazy. It's pretty short a hunt duration, all things considered. Now, we'll find out. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. For the for the bathroom. It's upstairs, okay. Now I want to listen to the ghost speed and figure out what it is. Okay. So, I'm guessing by bathroom, it meant upstairs bathroom somewhere, but which one? I guess we got our answer, this one. Um, the footsteps sounded pretty normal. Uh, so, we, we can rule out a lot of ghosts based on that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we, we, we might have could have checked for, uh, for UV, but let's, let's look at what we can rule out based on the footstep speed being normal. We're out of Revenant. If you're not too sure about the twins, if it did sound a little bit lower or faster, it, it, if it was, it would have been slower, definitely not faster, but I think it was fairly normal. Uh, Thay would have been super fast because it had an AH. Diogen would have sprinted right to us. Moroi. Moroi, we're not at zero sanity, so we can't necessarily rule it out. Hantu would have been pretty decently fast. So I'm willing to say that's not going to be it. And, and probably about it. Moroi, because of where our sanity is, I think we could rule out a shade too from where our sanity is. And a Dio would have taken some more time to do it as well. But again, we want to take a look at the chart, see if do we see EMF5. We do not. We are above 35% sanity, so it can't be a shade. We'll go from there. Some some of these ghosts are definitely going to be more harder to be able to get to. Now, I'm going to take a book up there. Again, if you're playing regular and you don't trust looking around in the dark, you could take a glow stick and just be listening for when it is. Uh, I'll, you know what? We'll, we'll do it that way. We'll do it that way. So listen for when the hunt starts, which we heard crying. So if we hear that crying sound, we want to run. So we're going to set the book down in here. We are not quite at freezing yet. But now we can run away and run down. And just sort of go from there. If you don't like... Like for... For this method, you want to kind of do that. You get the hunt to just kind of just start eliminating ghosts in it. The hunts don't last too, too long. So they're not too bad. We can get a crucifix now. And if I wanted to drop that, we could. Uh, we could also try for a candle. That might be better to take in, honestly. To see, does it use the crucifix over the candle? That would be the other way that you could do the Onrio test. And it can also be used as a light source. So instead of setting up three candles and then waiting to see if it'll use the crucifix because of where we're at sanity-wise, just see does it ever prioritize and we we did hear a, a door touch interaction um it has not written in the book yet we kind of i, I want to get a glow stick but But uh, I kind of want to see, is it going to hunt over the candle? Now, we would get freezing for an Onryo. So far, no freezing. It doesn't look like ghost riding. Thank you, scary lady. Definitely not getting like Banshee vibes. I think it would have stalked us down there. Um, we, we can set up for assault test and do all that. I kind of just want to check to see on. Thank you for uh, turning off the shower. So I kind of just want to see. Is it going to use the crucifix over the lit candle? Okay, it does. So it's not an on Rio, and that's how we know it's not an on Rio. And it's not looking like it's getting down into freezing range. Uh, definitely want to go down, get a smudge stick, and let's. We just heard the door touch interaction, but I think our close stick is in the in the truck. So now we just have to kind of be, kind of be safe for it. Uh, I think that was the ghost event, so I'm not too worried about that. I don't think that's going to be MF5. Is it not in the... Yeah, it is in the truck. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go check to see if we have the, the UV on the door. Uh, if it didn't touch the door, we could also again use the salt to verify if it has UV or not. 
Definitely kind of want to be careful with our sprint because it is far away down the back hallway. But let's see. We do have UV. So that will definitely help us out. Uh, we... I don't think... We don't have yet is... Jesus. So we have UV. Did it change ghost rooms? Because that thing seemed to be out of the hallway. Maybe it's a phantom or a banshee? That thing seemed to be like right on top of me. That was kind of... Kind of scary. I'm not really sure... We could set down a ghost riding book in the hallway, but it was it. I don't know though. I am that kind of kind of kind of scary because it sounded like it was right on top of me, which it could be banshee or a phantom because they would be right on top of you essentially. I'm gonna go in. Just set that there. Uh, I think kind of about the only thing we can really do is just sort of... Like, set up something around that table to see about the ghost. See if it's a pulte. Um Because there's not really much we can do. Pulte would throw a lot. Bro, what? Man, I'm really kind of thinking Banshee or Phantom. That ghost seems to be pretty stalky now. I think our best tip uh, is just going to be to try to get a good look at the ghost, honestly. Because Phantoms will stay invisible longer with the ghost model because uh, I I really don't think it's it's anything with the MF5 uh, we can double check for freezing but I don't think we're gonna have ghost riding either which would make it a phantom a banshee or a mimic and I think it's gonna be a phantom or a banshee Because it hunted right on top of us twice. And that's kind of crazy. I think what I'm going to do is just trigger a cursed hunt. Because those last longer. And sometimes if it's not as far. A six to a nine. Yeah. A three to a six. One, two, or three. Yeah, three seems to be the max that's going up, which is why I just think that that's probably about it. And we'll just try to see if, if we can see it. It's going to be kind of hard to see it because it is so dark. That's why I'm trying to set up a light path. But... We'll just... I'll just go with it and see what it does. So that's why I wanted to set... I'm, I'm going to trigger a cursed hunt so the hunt is longer. 15 seconds for a hunt is really short. It's good for surviving. But as far as trying to find out information about the ghost, not really not really that good for us. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Why did it let us do that?
What? Is it an invisible ghost? Had to be a phantom, right? Well, it was a phantom. I think it must have been hella invisible. I, I didn't see it at all, though. Before we go into the final game, take a look at this again. We don't hear the footsteps at all for the ghost. I really don't know what happened. Part of me wonders if this is the glitch or a bug where the ghost entered dot state and then started to hunt. I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. We didn't see or hear that ghost footsteps at all. We only heard items being thrown and the ghost noise. What? Okay, uh, so after that last game, man, I'm still torn up over that. This time, we're gonna kind of trigger a couple... I'm just gonna trigger a curse time, basically, essentially. Uh, and get our sanity down to zero and try to get what we can. So it's kind of similar to the first one. But, like I said, we're doing three different ways. It's, it is similar to the first one, but... Still not, not too, too bad. So, all we're going to do is ask it where it is. Now, we can try to set up to to look for it. Hey, we found the bone. Okay. Um, so what I think I'll do before we trigger the hunt, let's set up like a path line like we did the last game. Just to try to get the most visuals out of it. And uh, again, we do want to be looking at this. See if we get EMF 5. We do not. This is going to be a really colder house because it is snowing outside. So that is something that we need to keep in mind as well. Not really sure where this ghost is, but we're just gonna try to do what we can with it. So let's get the, we'll just take one more lighter in you. Actually, we can leave the lighter here because we can set up salt to see if it's a wraith and grab you. So, and you can do this for anyone. If you want to take a combination of the game we just did, where we just ask where it is and then try to set it up through that, like, we can do that too. That is not a problem at all. I mean, it's really up to whatever you want to do. But we're kind of just doing this to just get a, get a good look at it and see what we can find. Where are you? Boys. Bedroom. I wonder which one. I wonder if that's the blue... The blue room upstairs. Where are you? Got another phantom. Right? One time we can actually hear the phantom's footsteps and do that. And that's where you see the, the roaming come in from the phantom, right? That it roam to us as we could tell it went from the boys bedroom to the upstairs hallway to blowing out the candle to right in front of us kind of kind of interesting kind of interesting how we kind of got a good good glimpse of that see that's how fast if you do set it up like that how it can go it can go we got like the longer games like we had on the first one or if you do this method you do it a lot faster we could have done like something similar to this to begin with but Either way. Or you could get screwed and glitch, but we still got the ghost right the second time. If you would like to learn more about ghost abilities, click or tap the screen now. It's a great starting point to help you better pinpoint these ghosts. Thank you so much to the channel members for the extra support. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Happy hunting. I'll see you in the ghost abilities.